three, four. She was down at the bar in the neighborhood. Gossip runs quick when the liquor's good Well, truth and drinks, they get watered down You overheard of someone I was messing around People Yeah, after college, that was pre the White Buffalo So I was living in San Francisco and I, a lot of the smaller venues had started going to DJs And so there weren't like little clubs to like start out with You know, I'd play in the corner of a bar or something like that It wasn't, you know, at a coffee shop I would make these cassette tapes and I would send them to people for their birthday or Christmas or something like that and there's probably, I don't know, eight or ten people on that list that I would send send tapes to. One of my buddies uh, lived down in Southern California and was a surf rep. Apparently, he played them for somebody and, you know, they started just circulating. People would make cassette to cassette and then it just started spreading and then some guy called me, this guy Chris Malloy, he was a filmmaker. He was a surfer, but uh, was making a film and uh, called me out of the blue and said, hey, I want to use one of your songs in, in my surf movie. So they asked me to come down and play for the opening of the movie. You know, I played the song that was in the movie and I played four, four or five other songs that were and I played for half an hour or something before the film. And um, people knew other songs. Like I could see people singing along to some songs and I was like, what the, what's going on? And nothing was happening for me in San Francisco. So I immediately quit my job and moved down to Southern California. Ready to come out swinging? Yeah. <laughs> Hearing about your bitch, you know your devil's tongue. I just wish that I was still the one. Every single thought inside my head telling me that this old heart is dead. For the duet, we had the talented Audra May come in. She she killed it. I think it sounded great. I thought her take on it was really cool. I mean, we did a bunch of takes, but they just kind of kept getting better and better. And some of them, we really locked it in. In my veins, in my blood, I got you. I love writing songs, and you know, it's what I do for a living, and it's all, really the only thing I know how to do. As far as making money, I mean, now I've been doing it for, you know, as my sole source of income for 10 years, 12 years, you know? I, I don't know how to do anything else. But I got you. Ain't about the dishes or your piles of junk. I'm just sick of you being drunk. Every solitary bone inside of me. I just write things that I think are cool or I think that emotionally make me feel something or, or take me on some kind of journey. The vehicle of songs for me is, is endless. You know, the idea that you, you can write a song, you know, and you write a first verse and a chorus and then it can go a million different directions. I think his audience is going to be surprised because he stretched himself. I think he hits the highest note he's ever hit in his life in this record and the lowest note, which is kind of cool, you know? I mean, I think that he took some, some risks on this record that I think are great, you know, and we embraced them all. I think Jake really put, you know, some, some time and thought just with regard to the range of the songs. This record has, I, I think, you know, a diversity of songs and lyric that surprised me. I think the quality of the songs that he brought to the table just going in showed that you know he really did his homework. He was thinking about what this next record was going to be like, and that that, that showed growth. That was very exciting. We only get one heart to feel before it's through. So I got you in my veins, in my blood.
forgot to go up. That's okay. It was awesome. That was a good one, though. <laughs> yeah. That's a really good take. In this album, which is actually something that I thought was was different and maybe me growing as a songwriter or as a person or something is I wrote a couple songs that were just straight up fucking good time songs. You know, in the past I always kind of had like the juxtaposition of something being really fucking gnarly or like being like like the deeper underlining part of the song is is something pretty heavy but it feels good. And so, you know, people are dancing and whatever but then it's about you know, something like heartbreak or something that in that juxtaposition I like, which there's still some of that stuff on here too. But this is the most varied album, musically for sure. I try to get outside of my element, which Bruce kind of helps guide me in that direction. There is some just classic, like vintage, my style of songs on here, but then there's stuff that's varied. Hey! Dark days behind me. I'm pretty happy. Yeah, I think it's good. I think all the songs are really strong. You know, at this point I've got, I got everything. I got the sequence pretty much together, which I think flows really cool. Almost approached it more as like a set, about kind of dynamics of how I would work a, a you know, a live performance out. And there's some like epic, you know, bigger songs and some stripped down songs, some scary songs, some uh, more pop songs, more, uh, oh, you know, it's got it all. <laughs> What's not to like, huh? <laughs> Okay, I think I got all the words right. I missed one hey. <laughs>